What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of the QPR career mode, this is episode 5. Today we're going to be playing against Brentford away um, in the league, obviously we beat them at home, hopefully we can win again. Um, we also will be seeing the transfer window open today. There aren't any signings or sales today however, but there may be in the next episode. Right now you can see the youth scouts uh, in the background coming back weren't too many good players there were a few again um, and obviously I decided to send them out again later in the episode because there's actually two reports today because we managed to simulate one and a half months instead of just the one like last time the first game of this episode was against Pre uh, Preston who were not too far off the playoffs but we managed to beat them 3-2 so it's good to see us score a few goals uh, unfortunately we did concede two but a win's a win our next game was against Birmingham who were just outside their relegation zone and unfortunately we couldn't manage to get the win. It was a 0-0 draw. Positive is that you know we did keep a clean sheet but it would have been nice to win again because we were playing well um, and we were a good little streak but at least we didn't lose I guess. Um, the next game was against Barnsley who were in the relegation zone when uh, you know I, I was recording but they weren't going to be easy because obviously they're fighting to stay up and our team was starting to be affected by fatigue because of how many games we were having in a short period of time so I had to use the backup players for some of the matches um, which obviously meant that we wouldn't get a strong results because they're not as good as our first team uh, as you saw there against Barnsley we did drop points again it was another 1-1 draw um, and now I'm just uh, renewing the contracts of a few of the players because the January transfer window is opening and if a player who is above the age of 23 has under 6 months left on the contract they can get poached by other clubs at the start of, uh, or for the start of the next season. Obviously I didn't want that to happen. So I gave quite a few players new contracts. Um, and there were a few who I decided not to like Cameron because he is quite old now and I'm hoping we can improve him or improve on him because he is declining now um, and a lot of the players who you did see there who are in our squad are actually here on loan so obviously we can't renew their contracts um, <clears throat> but you, I don't know if you noticed before but I did decide to change the training drills up a little bit because De La Vega's finishing isn't very good and I thought it'd be necessary to improve that so I have put him back on training because he was on it before he got injured but we ma we finally lost the match after quite a long time without losing. It was unfortunate, it was a 2-0 loss to Reading. Um, but luckily we started the season so well, it didn't affect us too much. And I decided to promote uh, Ricci, I think his name is, or Ricci, I'm not quite sure how you pronounce it. He's Italian centre-back. who can play as a defensive midfielder and a central midfielder as well. High, high work rates, one star week for three successful moves isn't too important because of his position. High high isn't amazing but it's not terrible because he does still have a high defensive work rate which is good. And we now lost again against Hull. It's two losses on the bounce. We were you know we hadn't won a match in five now. That was two losses and three draws in our last five. And it, you know we were lucky that we had played so at the start of the season because if we hadn't then we might have been in a bit of trouble but Luckily, you know, we were still just a few points off playoffs, so it's not terrible. And even though it would be nice to finish in the playoffs, the board only expected a mid-table finish. I only expected a mid-table finish. But there's been um, a tre tremendous amount of growth in the team, especially by Ezzy, De La Vega and the young players. And we've got, you know, Roberts in the Youth Academy who looks like a fantastic keeper. And I think by next month he'll be our starting keeper. Uh, unfortunately another draw against Cardiff there so that's six games in the league that we failed to win in um, and like I said it would have been nice finishing the playoffs but even if we don't I won't be too disappointed because I think we've made a huge amount of progress this season and here you can see me sending the scouts out again hopefully next season they'll be better than they are right now hopefully we'll have a few even maybe four star scouts because we do need to get some better players in um, and the sales of the two keepers that we did decide to promote uh, will hopefully contribute some cash for that 
although they're not high rated right now, I think by the end of the season they'll be at least 70 based on their current growth. Unfortunately we got dumped out of the FA Cup by Crystal Palace but I wasn't expecting us to win because Palace obviously in the division above us in the Premier League. They're sort of mid-table, they're Ambrua away and you know we're technically still a mid-table championship club so although it would have been nice to, to get past them it wasn't expected and I think the league is our main priority this season um, and it's just the growth of players as well I don't think we need to be worrying about the FA Cup at this stage next season obviously we'll try and get a bit further but we were unlucky to get such a big team uh, at such a you know early round and you see here we've got two offers there for, for Chair who is our backup to Ezzy and even backup winger so I decided to reject those offers because I thought you know we might need him especially for when players are tired or as an impact sub he's very good because he's fairly quick he can play in a variety of positions and he's a good player to have for squad depth now we get into that big game against Brentford away from home um, they weren't doing terribly they were mid table I think a few places below us just a few points behind us as well so if we did lose it they would only be I think two points behind us but if we won we would have gone eight points clear so hopefully we can win obviously I know the result but I'm not gonna ruin it first chance of the game actually fell to us Jose Samuel was through one on one but as we saw last time his finishing is not great and he hit it wide from there unfortunate we should have probably taken the lead but uh, it was early in the game so we still had the whole match to win um, and a few minutes later we attack down that right with Jose Samuel getting a beautiful ball in and De La Vega just taps it in calm as you like we go 1-0 up it was a fantastic move again starting from the keep we scored a lot of goals from goal kicks by attacking down the wings their left back um, tried to go and tackle our right back but he left Jose Samuel in a lot of space and he's very quick he was never going to come back and catch him and De La Vega gets his eighth goal of the season this in the league He's been a fantastic sign. He uh, feels great on the ball as well. He's scored a lot of goals for us. And Brentford got a penalty for that. I don't know why, because I didn't even press anything. It looked like he found me, if I'm being honest, or like it was just normal shoulder to shoulder. But luckily, justice was done. They missed the penalty. Um, I don't know what sort of technique it was. He hit the bar. It's like he tried to chip it, but he missed. And a few minutes later, we had a chance as well almost bent it right into the corner but it went just wide and then just before half time we had another chance it was a good ball in and Wells got his foot to it but it was a good save from their keeper to keep it at just 1-0 and we went into half time leading which is good because um, Brentford you know they weren't attacking too much we weren't attacking too much although there were quite a few shots there were very few on target which you know told the story to be honest they weren't it wasn't a high quality first half but right as the second half started Brentford got back on level terms they won the head out the back stick hit the post and it uh, fell back to them and he finished it on the second attempt and then uh, about 10 minutes later they had another chance as a good save from Lumley keeping us in the game again as he so often has in the series so far uh, from the corner though we attacked we got a counter Kane, our right back on the ball, played it forward to Jose Samuel, who was running through, tried to play into Wells, the pass was blocked, he still had the ball, and I have no idea how he finished it from there, it's on this weaker left foot, I think it was a scuffed shot to be honest, I was trying to go far post, but, um, like you'll see it from this angle, it, it, I don't know what the keeper was doing either, it's like, he didn't know where the ball, he thought it was going wide I guess, or he got flat footed he got caught but you know at the end of the day he scored his fourth goal of the season hasn't been very prolific but then again his finishing isn't great and I don't expect him to be um, we, I decided to make a few uh, changes because our team was tiring and obviously we've had a lot of matches to play in this re in this uh, Christmas period so I don't want anyone to get injured and they had a chance just for full time I bring the keeper up because I knew that they were trying to chip it tactical genius and um, they chipped and it went wide the game wasn't great though like you can see there Brentford were probably the better team again but they couldn't make their chances count 
we did and we won the match we could have scored a few more but they made some very good last inch blocks to stop us and here you see chair has requested a transfer because he thinks he hasn't been getting enough football despite the fact that he comes on pretty much every game and i guess he hasn't been starting a lot but um hopefully i'll play him a few more times and he'll he'll decide he wants to stay because he's a good player to have as backup and you know i don't want to lose him especially not to a division rival who uh have been putting in bids for him but hopefully you enjoyed the episode we end it in seventh place just outside the playoffs we should be able to get back in there if we go in a good run of form like we were before but that's it for today please make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you next time